Do you enjoy? I can relate to them. Do you enjoy, honestly, being on the set of the the Flash, and and playing these characters and working with Grant and Tom and all these other people? Do you have an actual good time? Is it a time in your life that you're like? I'm really enjoying this. I'm enjoying going to work. I like the character I'm playing. I like what I'm doing. I like being on the show. Is is that how you feel? Yeah. Yeah, it is, mostly. Particularly, but then I was mostly just working with Grant. And I knew with him playing the son who was the only one to believe that his father was innocent and me being in prison, it would carve out a very special relationship for us in the middle of an action adventure right at the amusement park, you know, the lights go down, the music hushes, we walk into the phone booth, we pick up the phones, we can't do our business. We're sitting there, all we can do is memorize the words, look at each other, make a connection and tell the truth, you know, and those were wonderful. And I enjoyed it while I was doing it. I appreciated it. Pretty soon after we did it, Grant was very funny, because I saw him at the upfronts in New York, and he had seen the pilot and I had and he was like, man, have you seen the pilot? Did you see our scene? You know, the big scene with the hand on the glass and the you know, the father-son moment. And I said, no. Is it, is it, how is it? He said, man, I was sitting there going, you can't cry. You can't cry on your own scene. It's so <laughs> uncool to cry at your own scene. <laughs> so Grant wanted to cry after watching it. Did you, did you, when you he watched it, it go, oh. did you, did you cry when you watched it? I don't remember, but I remember being moved. They did something really interesting uh, to get me on the edge of my emotions. David Nutter, director, Andrew Kreisberg, oh, Jeff Nutter. Johns, uh, Greg Berlanti. We went in to do that scene in the prison, and David came up to me and said, we've written some lines that we didn't want you to see or hear until for Grant until this moment. And it's my shot. So don't come in on your cue. Don't kill, come in until he says the words, whatever it was. I love you, Dad. And I'm sitting there. Well, see, now I'm really listening. You know, Meisner would have been so pleased. I was <laughs> riveted. You know, yeah. what's he going to say? And he gets to the part where he says, you remember when you told me to change my name because you didn't want anyone to associate me with you? Well, I'm glad I didn't change my name. I am proud of you and I am proud to be your son. I lost it. So much so that it was unusable. But we said, do it again right away. Don't cut tape. Just do it again. And I was able to manage the emotion and it was still there. People said, how did you work up the emotion for those father son scenes? I said, the problem wasn't working up the emotion. The problem was not letting the emotion run away with you so that you're up there having a wonderful masturbatory experience. And the audience is going, God, I wish you'd leave room for me. <laughs> true. True. Because I think, you know, somebody told me once, if you're doing a scene where you have to, you know, cry, you should think of not crying because most people don't want to cry and they end up crying. So you're really trying not to cry. And that is what really affects people. I think, I think that sort of reaction, what were the lines? Like, yeah, go ahead. It's like playing drunk. Yeah. You know, people who are drunk are trying not to look drunk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Mostly, most often, unless you're really obnoxious, you know, 